This is Joe Delio from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a video tutorial. What exactly is an intrazone rule versus an interzone rule and why do I have them now? In today's video tutorial I'll be talking with you about the difference between the intrazone, interzone, and universal rules. People have been asking about this lately which is why I wanted to make a video tutorial to cover it. If we take a look at the security policy prior to 6.1, in this example it's 6.0.8, it's not always evident what will happen to the traffic that doesn't match any rule. Normally, any traffic that does not match will automatically be dropped. But this is the implied drop that is not recorded anywhere. Furthermore, there's no way to alter the treatment for that traffic without creating an explicit rule like an any 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 drop rule at the bottom also known as a cleanup rule in many cases users simply want to enable logging for this type of traffic in some cases administrators just want to easily change the treatment for any intrazone traffic but to do this required configuration of explicit rules for each zone notice in earlier versions prior to 6.1 between tags and zone, there is no classification called rule type inside the security policy. But now when we look at PanOS 6.1 and above, which you'll see here, I believe is version 7, that between tags and zone, you have a type column. Having this rule type section now gives us an option to create rules based upon the parameters of in interzone, intrazone, and universal. This feature helps the administrators to have control over what rules are created based on the zones in their network, which can also come in handy during an audit. Before I get ahead of myself, you may be wondering what universal, intrazone, and interzone mean. This table will be inside of this article on the Palo Alto Networks Live site. Basically, you can see here the rule type and description. For universal, by default, all the traffic destined between two zones, regardless of being from the same zone or different zone, this applies to rule to all matching interzone and intrazone traffic in the specified source and destination zones. For example, if you create a universal rule with source zones A and B, destination zones A and B, the rule would apply to all traffic within zone A, all traffic within zone B, all traffic from zone A to zone B and everything in between. Intrazone is security policy allowing traffic between the same zone. This applies the rule to all matching traffic within the specified source zones. You cannot specify a destination zone for intrazone rules. For example, if setting the source zone to A and B, the rule would apply to all traffic only within zone A and then also all the traffic within zone B, but not to the traffic in between zones A and B. Interzone. This is a security policy allowing traffic between two different zones. However, the traffic between the same zones will not be allowed when created with this type. This applies the rule to all matching traffic between the specified source and destination zones. For example, if setting the source from zone A, B, and C, the destination zone to A and B, the rule would only apply to traffic from zone A to B, from B to A, from zone C to A, and C to B, but not from traffic within zones A, B, or C. Now looking back inside the GUI for 6.1 and above, you'll see that the default security zones that are appended to the bottom of the normal security rules, as you can see here, you're going to have the intrazone default and the interzone default with this little, little green cog defining that these are predefined rules. If we look at the default actions, you cannot see the actions here, so let me quickly modify just columns. Now, you can see that the intrazone between a zone, the default action is allow, and the interzone default action is set to deny. You have the ability to override this traffic because, again, as you notice, there's no option to log the traffic. At least it's not by default logging the traffic. 
you can try to click on the rule, but you'll notice how it's set to read only. You'll see this light green outline and it's set to read only. You cannot change any action just by clicking on the rule name itself. You do have the ability to highlight it clicking on the rule, clicking on override. This gives you the ability to now change it, but notice you cannot change the name, the rule type, or the description. You can add tags if you need to. You can go into actions. You can now change the action. If you want to deny it instead of allowing it, dropping it, reset client server, or reset both client and the server. Have options to log at session start and end like you always do. Also log forwarding if you need to send a syslog or panorama. You also have the ability to attach any other profiles or groups onto this rule. But again, by default, you do not have that option. If you do highlight and you do override this and you change any action, let's say logging at session end, once you OK that, you'll notice here that there will be a double cog. It's going to be a yellow and a green as opposed to just a normal green. You'll also see that you're overriding it predefined when you click on when you just hover over it if you need to reset that you have the option to click this revert button and what that will do is that will revert this rule back to the default with no no logging all of this information inside of this article including more information about upgrading and downgrading using panorama with these zones the different intro zone and inter zones are covered in an article that you'll find a link to inside of the live site please be sure to click on that if you want to find out any more information about that this concludes this week's video tutorial about intrazone versus interzone rules. I hope this has helped you understand intrazone, interzone, and universal rules better. As always, please feel free to post feedback or comments below. Thank you very much for watching and please stay secure.